By the way, this is the last <laughs> class right before spring break, so nine weeks. Give yourselves a hand for getting this far. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get fired up. All right, I'm excited to welcome someone whom I met uh, last year. And uh, it's a really fascinating story for me, and to see her here really, really makes me happy. Instead of giving you her long bio, which we're going to cover her story uh, in our conversation, let's just sort of think about your position, where you are today. Let's say you're a junior or a sophomore in college. You think you know what you're going to do. Maybe you're leaning towards a certain way. Maybe there's some lawyers in your family, so you're probably going to go to law school. Maybe something happens in between your junior and senior year in an internship where things flip for you and you figure out what you want to do and you change the direction of your, of your education and, and your life. Let's say you take your first job out of grad school and you like it, but it's sort of getting routine. You're seeing the same types of things, the same types of cases, the same types of clients. But you notice something in the market. You notice there's something missing. So you talk to a friend who also happens to do what you do. And you say, yeah, I'm seeing the same thing. And you're convinced, convinced that the market is missing something. There's an opportunity. So you create a business. You go out and pitch it. People turn you down. They won't give you money. Some of them even say, what do you know? What do you know about this business? You're just doctors. You don't have any business experience. And if you think you're so right, why aren't the big boys doing it? What happens if you don't have a really good answer for that except, I just know. I just know they're missing something. This isn't a story about two dermatologists who found the magic cure to acne. This is a great entrepreneurial story of persistence, resilience, and really trusting your gut when other people say, what do you know? Here to share the story of Proactive, please welcome Katie Rodan. Katie. I see a lot of clear skin out there. Very happy about that. Yeah, a lot of young clear, young clear skin. That's right. They, uh, they were, uh, they've got Bieber fever. They thought Bieber was coming. 